Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and my name is Nara and here we're discussing all things astrology and spirituality and this video is about Pisces or Neptune in the 8th house of your chart. So if you don't know your personal uh, planetary placement or the house system, please google the natal chart calculator online and calculate your birth chart if you obviously know the time of birth. But if you happen to have Pisces or Neptune in the eighth house, then welcome to this video. <laughs> so, okay, so uh, let's start with the house first. So the eighth house is all about, it belongs to Pluto, right? It's the natural house of Scorpio. And it's all about crises, death and rebirth, occult science, it's a water house. It is all about investments, taxations, other people's money, business deals, and all of that stuff. It's the money you have probably in a bank account, like savings account, or in the bond stock, or crypto stock, or something. Um, also, the eighth house is a crisis when, you know, like financial crises, emotional crises, and all of that stuff. But what happens if you have Pisces in this house or Neptune in this house? So Pisces and Neptune has a nature of dissolving and being influenced by the environment, right? Um, it likes to be um, basically lost, get lost in other people, in the environment, in the emotions, in the vibrations. But when we have Pisces or Neptune in the eighth house of your chart, um, it basically shows us how you're going to be dealing with crisis situations in your life and whether you'll be good at it or not. So this placement suggests that you guys are not very good at handling crisis situations. Um, you don't like unpredictability and that's why whenever a crisis hits you, either it be financial, but mostly it is financial, you know, related to the eighth house or emotional too but mostly financial so those crises let's say you're living a nice life everything is predictable for you but then something unpredictable happens which is related to your eighth house and you don't know how to act and how to solve that problem whenever it comes to this placement these people get very very lost and they don't know how to pull themselves back together and deal with crisis situations because they get lost in those emotional states they actually feel intoxicated emotionally from crisis situations because they don't know how to deal with them pisces and neptune for the eighth house is not the most favorable placement for people to have let me just put it this way this also suggests that you are a uh, Leo rising, right? Because you have Pisces in the eighth, that means your Leo is in the first, first house. So you might project that identity where you're, you know, confident and, you know, have self conviction about what you do and you come off very whole, complete, and, you know, very assertive, confident individual. However, that picture might be distorted by others when they see you, how you deal with crisis situations. Because when it comes to that placement, right, whenever a crisis hit this, these people, they forget about everything else in their life and they really don't know how to think objectively and act objectively, right? When it comes to Scorpio, because remember, this house belongs to Scorpio and Pluto, these people get you know, uh, they, they, they put themselves together real quick emotionally. They're very focused emotionally. They know how they feel about that crisis and they start dealing with it from a very objective standpoint. That's a Scorpio. They're, they're in control of their feelings, okay? Whenever crisis hit. And that's why Scorpios is the fire sign out of water signs, right? But when it comes to Pisces, they can't handle the crisis as well. You know, they can't stay calm, they can't stay objective, they start getting that intoxicate, intoxicated emotional state uh, whenever the crisis hit because they are not uh, good with dealing unpredictable, with unpredictable things in life. Also, this placement uh, suggests that these people, because remember, eighth house is death and rebirth and it's also sex. It's also related to occult sciences occult knowledge, which is this, astrology, mysticism, mysterious stuff, paranormal activities, 
uh, spirituality, godly states, you know, like connecting with your spirit guides and stuff like that. So this placement suggests whenever these people are faced with crisis, first of all, they are just like giving it up, everything up, they feel helpless, and they literally <laughs> turn to God for help. Like, you know, one of those people, uh, you probably have them in your life, who whenever something bad happens, they just pray. So Pisces is the eighth, it's very, very similar to that. Um, and they also, through crisis, they are destined to understand uh, their purpose and learn a lesson which is not related to material things, okay? Also, this placement is related to sex. So these people, because we know Neptune likes to worship others like gods, right? And like to dissolve with others, environments or people. So these people might use sex as an escape mechanism from other areas of their life, especially difficult areas of their life. So they might use sex as a way to pretty much escape, you know, uh, escape the rational parts of their lives. And they get lost in another individual and, you know, they get a psychological relief from that. So they might be addicted to sex, these people and also drugs because eighth house is also related to that uh so drugs alcohol you know just to experience higher states so that they don't feel emotional pains um that they might have in other areas of their lives um also this placement suggests investments and taxes and other people money so if you are a business person with this placement it is very very important to have a financial advisor okay before you make any types of investments because this placement suggests that you guys are swayed easily by other people's opinions and literally let's say somebody pops up uh who pretends to be a good financial person you know who understands finances and they might suggest something to a pisces in the eighth or neptune in the eighth and they are just so trusting to other people and they can believe and they can act from that opinion and then lose money so for these people it's very very important to have a financial advisor or something you know get a second opinion uh whenever your guys are dealing with taxes like irs or uh investments uh, like stock bonds or crypto very very important because this placement suggests a very a very trusting nature of an individual, okay? Also, this placement uh, relates to death, right? Like I mentioned, and have it's a water house. It belongs to Pluto and Neptune is also a water planet. So whenever you have Pluto in the, uh, sorry, Neptune or Pisces in the eighth house, these people might, might, be, um, might feel that they want to return home. And what is, home related to the eighth house is death so these people got to be very careful so that they don't overindulge on any of the substances because they can take away their life with this placement okay because they might be they're so connected spiritually and they might literally connect with any spirit guides and we know that there's there's guys there's spirits and some of them are not good and these people have the psychic ability to connect with spirits and it's very important for them not to connect with the bad spirits because they can channel energy from spirit guides, okay? And they can channel the bad spirits as well. And they can, because of that Neptune, Pisces, trusting nature, they can believe those spirits and literally do whatever they tell them to do, okay? Like look at Marilyn Monroe. She had displacement and... <clears throat> she took away her life right she was a very early age and she was through substances right through substances we know she, that she overindulged in alcohol and you know that 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 overindulgence i'm i don't know i never met her i mean i was never i wasn't even born during that time but i'm pretty sure she had that spirit um guy telling her to do this you know to take away her life 
uh, because this placement, like I said, right, suggests that you want to return home and that's why you gotta be very careful. You shouldn't be returning home before it's your due date just because you connected with the wrong spirits. And these people are also connected to uh, realms that are not seen, okay? So it's very important you don't connect with the bad spirits because there's some bad spirits out there <laughs> who may instruct you to just kill yourself, you know? And, and Marilyn Monroe's placement just an evidence. Because, you know, we, don't, we just don't talk a lot about things, the things that are going on inside of us, right? We may come off a certain way, but what we're actually thinking and feeling, it's not uh, out there, right? So you might have this, but you might even reject it within yourself. And if you have this playing out in your life, face it and, and, and decide how you want to act based on these evidences and you know what astrology tells you also this placement suggests that uh, people are very very interested in material things and they may sometimes feel jealous over what other people have especially if they don't have that um, and you got to be careful with the jealousy and possessiveness because it's all the eighth house right um, it's not that you can't make money or achieve whatever other people got. You just got to do it your own way and especially not allowing that jealousy, that emotion to take you over, okay? Because if you're jealous, that means that you can achieve that as well. But if you're keeping that emotion and, you know, having this hatred toward people who already got it and which will prevent you from achieving that for yourself, then you're on the wrong path. For this placement, it's very important to take jealousy signs, especially when it comes to material possessions that other people have, as a sign for you to achieve it as well without any jealousy, okay? Because it's not gonna bring you what you actually want. It's br it will bring you the opposite, which will take it away completely. Also, these people might be drawn, drawn to individuals sexually, and they might literally you know, change their um, sex tastes and just how they want it to happen, uh, depending on the people they deal with. So their very Neptunian nature is to mutate with the environment, right? Depending on what other people want. So let's say you meet a partner who loves tough sexual encounters. So you might change yourself into that. And then you meet another partner who wants a softer version of you and you will change into that for them. So this placement suggests that these people can literally change themselves based on who they are dealing with, okay? Huh, so I think that's pretty much it for this placement. Um, if you resonate with this video, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your interpretations. But if you did not resonate with this video, I would love to hear your personal interpretations and how it's playing out in your own life. But yeah, thanks you all very much for watching and I would love to see you in my next video. Bye y'all.